Ohio State on top of Wisconsin 10 to 3 as we head towards the second half. And coach, this Wisconsin Badger team coming in was doing a good job against the rest of the teams in and out of conference of getting teams off, getting their defense off the field, I should say, and and forcing teams to three and outs. Well, there's no question. Their their defense was doing a good job of that. And then once their offense got the ball back, they held the time of possession. Uh, They lead the Big Ten and are Mm -hmm. way up there in the nation in time of possession. It's because of uh, being good on third down defense and being good with the football and 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 honestly they're without pj hill yeah. you know which was a a little bit of an impact but uh i think our guys would have been pretty good against the run uh, regardless of who was back there but uh, when, when your main guy is not back there you feel like you got to throw a little bit more and then the sacks came about well a huge difference also when you talk about time of possession and the number of plays that it can cost you throughout the game and that comes into effect into effect with game planning uh, you know that the tempo if it's run by the offense, you got a chance. Just like in our Penn State game two weeks ago, uh, our offense dictated the tempo of that football mm-hmm. game. We kept them sitting on the bench, uh, and you know we were able to move the chains and do good on third down, and it gave our defense you know, a little bit more rest, put a little more pressure on their offense, and, and that's huge. And Wisconsin had done that well. Yeah. Well, Coach, let's go back a little further than uh, just a week in time. Let's go back to Bill Willis's days, huh, mm-hmm. 1942 in that era. You know, our first national championship, he was a key member, went on to uh, be named in the College Football Hall of Fame, the Ohio State Hall of Fame, and Gene Smith there was presenting him with his uh, Ohio State National Championship ring and choked him up and uh, to have his name up on our stadium is special, and, and I'm glad we got to talk about that. We don't have to talk about that play that just happened. Yeah, well, the guy's, uh, I guess, not so inspired by that gesture, but it certainly was a nice one, and the defense tested here early in the second half. Well, a heck of a job by their guy. Their tight end, number nine, is a special player. Uh, their quarterback kept the thing alive, which he does so well, and uh, you know our guys just keep fighting, and uh, we went three and out after they scored that and then uh, they got good field position, and again, our guys just kept coming. And here you see another sack by Vernon, good pressure by Chimney, and uh, you know we're, we weren't going to stop fighting, and, and uh, you know our defense just kept coming after them, and they do a good job of uh, throwing the ball from a possession standpoint, and and there again to Beckham. Beckham's one of the fine tight ends in the country. Yeah, no question about that. You got him third and 16 at the 50 at midfield. That's pretty much on schedule where you need him uh, in a long down and distance situation. But uh, they bust a couple tackles and bust a big one there and then find their way into the end zone for the second straight drive. Well, they ran a little pick play there and, and did a good job, good execution. And they're up 17 to 10 because they deserve to be. And uh, so we came back and uh, a good conversion here on a, on a route by... Uh, Todd over to Brian Hartline, and, and then we come back with the reverse to Brian Hartline. Good job on cutting up inside the defensive end. Got us another nine, got us rolling a little bit, and I thought this was a good answer drive by our offense. Yeah, certainly nine picks up uh, nine, nine yards on back-to-back plays from him, and then Beckman's going to take off, tuck it for eight more and a first down. First down, good step up, and we had a little boot play called and it was covered up. Uh, he stepped up, then we start feeding the ball to Beanie, and there he goes out the back door, and you, as big as he is, you're still not going to catch him. Yeah, just a couple of, uh, of cuts there, and he busts that outside, goes for 31 yards, and Todd Beckman on the next drive, after you tie it at 17-all, really you get the momentum back into your favor on this drive. Beckman scrambling, gets the first down there on a third and four key, and then it goes back to Beanie again. Well, we, we like to mix it up. We were in empty that play before, and then now we're back to two tights and two backs, and we'd like to be able to pound the ball a lot of different ways and Beanie got in the end zone those guys up front were pushing them backwards well and he was being patient and also they both cut back uh, to yep. the left for those touchdowns yep. yeah those guys pushed him off the ball the backside blocking was good there was good job there by our punt safe unit uh, stopping their other punt safe uh, shot and then we came with a, a route there what a fantastic catch mm-hmm. by Brian Robisky we've been working this play from about the four or the five yard line and and we did it from the eight And so it was not timed quite like we like it, but he made a great catch. Then we come right back and and force the fumble, and and, uh, things are looking pretty good for us. Unfortunately, we had our field goal block, and uh, they come back. You know they're not going to quit, but uh, there we are, Anderson Russell breaking up the pass. Well, it's a 31-17 game in the blink of an eye in the defense. Thaddeus Gibson in there, and the ball's on the turf again. I think it was Dexter Larimore that came up with it after Thaddeus. And a little toss sweep play. Our guys, again, pushing them off the line of scrimmage, knocking people down. Great block at the end there by Brian Robisky. And uh, you know, that was 
That was the clincher right there to make it 38-17. So Rubisky gets in the end zone with that catch. You, you practice it with the one hand? Well, you know, we do some one hand drills, but not particularly on that play. The design, the cutbacks uh, for Beanie on those two touchdown runs, designed or is he just cutting where it's open? Yeah, they were zone plays, and mm -hmm. he showed great patience. And, you know, we've talked all year about the fact that, you know, the more patient he becomes and the more he watches the linebackers flow, when the linebackers overflow and he cuts back, there's no one left. Got to be happy about the, uh, the gut check time in this game. Well, when it was 17-10 and the flow was against us and just didn't seem like we could get things revved up emotionally, uh, the offense methodically went down the field. Uh, some good decisions by Todd Beckman, who he threw to when he stepped up. Uh, good mixing it up. Jim Bowman and his staff did a good job between run and pass. And, and uh, the good answer drive, that inspired the crowd, that inspired the defense, and took off after that. Well, certainly uh, going 10-0 and at this point right now and 6-0 and in conference play, that is of ultimate importance as you head towards these key November games. And back at the Horseshoe to wrap things up next week, we'll look forward to that one as well. Senior day. Exactly. We'll look forward to having you back as well. And we're back to wrap things up after this.